Good morning, you time, and welcome to another week of Extreme Sundays, where we bring church to you at home. Due to the coronavirus outbreak, social distancing is a huge thing right now. But we've come to the point where we have to continuously sanitize our hands, wear face masks, can't even touch our own faces. These things have been put in place to protect us. And they've even stopped us from meeting together. But one thing coronavirus has taught me is that everything around us is so temporary. Our lives revolve around our jobs, our school, the gym, shops, sports, and even bubble tea. You may hate the fact that social distancing is pulling us away from our friends, from enjoying youth group and to other social groups. But one thing that stands out to me is that the coronavirus is teaching us that society is placing strong emphasis that the safest place that we could be in right now is in our homes, with our family. So what a time it is to be alive, right? Maybe you might be able to relate to this, but social distancing happens in our very homes. We tend to isolate ourselves in our room and we play games. We look at memes all day. We take selfies. We watch anime and K-drama. <laughs> and I believe that God is calling us to rise as a family, to strengthen our relationships and strengthen our faith as followers of Christ. So the passage today we will focus on is Proverbs 22, 6. And it says, start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Your parents or caregivers only want the best for you. Which is why sometimes they yell at you because they love you too much to see you get hurt. Let's sink that in. They love you too much to see you get hurt. They truly want you to live the best life. The kind of life that they may have never had themselves. How can they teach us if we are constantly avoiding them and isolating ourselves in our rooms? We must converse with them, spend time with them, so they can pass down their wisdom to us as God has requested and required for them to do. So let's work on building our relationships with them in this time. I'm sure they're great people if you get to know them. So you, your task this week is to sit down with your family members and ask them about what their childhood was like and what would be their greatest advice to you. And whether it's sitting with your parents, your caregivers, maybe even your brother or sister, your siblings. Just sit down with them and ask them something that they can give to you so that you may hold on to. So I look forward to hearing uh, what you have heard from your family and I hope that you can learn something from them as well. So thank you and we'll see you next week. Cause I can't stop loving Since I got a taste